football coach Bob Foley won his 900th career game on Friday. For Coach Foley, though, it's not about the wins. It's about the relationships. This is 55 years, and you're looking at all the kids who have played for me in 55 years. And I think what makes it all worthwhile, I look up in the stands, and there's two kids that played for me at Uxbridge in the mid-60s, and they come to every game. The other day, uh, Davon Jones, who played here, played in Yankee Stadium in a bowl game, and I think that game ended at 8 o'clock at night. At 11 the next morning, he's here playing with our basketball team. Uh, yesterday, we were here, back door opens. Who comes in but Richard Rogers from the Green Bay Packers? And he played with us for two hours. So I guess that's what it is, is the relationships that you've built up with the kids over the years. And I've just had so many good kids. Well, they would echo the same sentiments about Coach Foley, just a class act. And again, he has impacted positively so many people and so many people that are now men and have their own careers and families and stuff. But the tribute to Coach Foley for all what he has done over his coaching career. All right, tomorrow night, we're going to be at the Green Graveyard. Lincoln Sudbury coming in from the Dual County League to take on the Burn Coat Patriots. And you can see the game live right here on Charter TV 3 beginning at 7 p.m tomorrow night. Well, the Holy Cross men's hockey team hosting RIT this weekend for games on Friday and Saturday night. The Atlantic hockey schedule is kind of like a football schedule. You practice all week for two games on the weekends. You can really focus in on your game plan for the week. And what we try to do is we try to, you know, towards the end of the week, we'll start talking a little bit more about the opponent we're facing. But for us to be our best and for us to play our best, we have to focus on ourselves. And we try to attack each day as it comes. We don't get ahead of ourselves. And that's been really effective for us, certainly since we've gotten back from Christmas. Just try to have great days and then have consecutive great days. And then that best prepares you for the weekend and gives you the best opportunity to win. We sort of get in a routine. And you can see that week to week that it's very similar. Um, you know, it's one of, the th one of those things that we take uh, you know, in six day increments and focus on getting better at practice from, a, you know, from the one day to the next and then build up over the course of four days and, and put it together on a weekend. Monday through Thursday are uh, practice, practice days, but each day has got something important within it. And then Friday, Saturday, it's, it's game week. So it's nice to play at home and it's, these weeks are uh, become kind of a, a cycle and a habit and you kind of build off of them throughout the season. Definitely allows us to, to game plan and, and prepare for each specific opponent differently their systems and, and things they're doing uh, we have all week to prepare and, and like you said just get used to used to what they're doing like football and stuff so it's definitely a, a nice thing to have it at home especially not having to travel but uh, having the four days of practice a week going into the weekend it definitely helps all right so holy cross hosting rit this weekend on friday and saturday friday night's game will be televised live right here on charter tv3 looking forward to that the satyrs one of the top teams in Atlantic hockey. The Holy Cross women's basketball team hosting the top team in the Patriot League, American, this Wednesday. Now, last week, Holy Cross beat one of their nemesis on the road, Army. They're looking to duplicate that effort this week against American. I think just coming out with a big win against Army, we haven't won in all of our four years there. So that was really a great and amazing feeling. And I mean, an OT to grind it out away from home is obviously a great win in general. But to, to do it against Army is even better. It was very crucial that we got that win. Um, we've been playing really well recently, um, but I, since I've been here, since the seniors have been here, we haven't beaten Army, and they're the team to beat, so it was really exciting for us, especially on the road in that atmosphere. It was really exciting. To tough it out and to come back being eight down in the fourth quarter to win that game uh, in that environment is just, just huge for us. So uh, uh, we got to build on it, but it was a great win. It was a happy ride back. Uh, just thrilled and really proud of the girls the way we gutted out a win, scratched, clawed, uh, did anything we could to get a big win over uh, Army. And they'll take on American this week at the Heart Center. I'm Kevin Shea, and that'll do it for sports.